Hi guys, Josh Steffler here with We Are Change Victoria. I'm just out on a rainy Friday in the middle of the woods here and I thought I'd make a short video on uh, monetary reform. Uh, a lot of us today are aware that uh, Canada just hit another milestone with our national debt. The debt that see Seems to, seems to keep on growing despite the massive amounts of taxes that have been uh, levied on the Canadian citizens, on the businesses of Canada, and yet our debt keeps growing. There has to be a way to change this. Um, and that way, I believe, is monetary reform. I don't claim to be an expert on monetary reform. I have some ideas, but uh, the status quo of what we've got, the in Canada, the federal parties, the federal NDP, Liberals, Conservatives, Green Party, Bloc Québécois, they all seem to be fine with doing things the way we're doing things now, which is borrowing money and having to pay interest on this borrowed money. Some people talk about using the Bank of Canada to create our national currency that's interest-free. There are a few political parties that are interested in monetary reform, uh, one being the Canadian Action Party. They uh, advocate going back to using the Bank of Canada and there's also the Lib Libertarian Party. They don't advocate going back to Canada. They advocate a free market of uh, currencies. There's also institutes such as Comer in Canada, the Committee on Monetary and Economic Reform. They are affiliated with uh, Canadian Action Party. Um, and then there's one of my personal favorites, which is the Ludwig von Mises Institute, which talks about a gold standard, silver standard, you know, honest money. There's, it's not debt-based money, but hard-backed money. Something needs to change, and the way that we're doing things now is going to well, it can't even bankrupt our nation because we're already hundreds of billions of dollars in debt. Bankrupt would mean that we don't owe anything. So we're beyond bankrupt. We're beyond poor in Canada as a nation. And yet people still seem to be willing to lend us money at interest, of course. And... I would encourage people to start looking at monetary reform and start abandoning the mainstream parties that are pushing this on a governmental level. Um, in BC we've got the, the Liberal Party, the NDP and the Conservatives in the Green and the Libertarian Party that all vie for seats and really it's only the two parties with the most money that ever win the seats, the Liberals and the, and the NDP. So we need to abandon these parties and move towards parties that are starting to talk about real things, like not deficit reduction, because that's just a little bit, we're only borrowing a little bit less, but actual debt reduction. There are some terms you should look into. Debt jubilee. This is an idea where the debt's gone, it's forgiven. It, they've created more debt than there's money to pay back the, the debt, and they wipe the slate clean. I believe that that should be an option for Canada. Mo a lot of our national and provincial debt seems to be owned by foreign or private banks, part of the central banking monolithic uh, monolithic control the monolithic octopus that 
centralized banking has become that gets its slippery, slimy tentacles into every aspect of our, of our society, you know. Canada's collecting billions of dollars in tax, yet our infrastructure is falling apart. We don't have money for space program or, you know, real medical research. We don't have money to, you know, move to better energy sources to clean up our environment, but we always seem to have money to fund whatever political parties in power, their, their choice projects, their, their pork barrels, you know. Uh, why is that? It's because that this octopus, the centralized bank octopus, has gotten its tentacles into all of our mainstream parties. They're all so corrupt that they cannot be trusted anymore. I know some people like the NDP, they seem like nice people. Or you like the Liberals, they seem like nice people. And the individuals themselves, I can't say they're all nice people, but some of them are. You know, some of them are doing good stuff or feel and believe that they're doing good stuff. But the institution that they belong to, the political party, is absolutely bankrupt and corrupt, pushing us farther and farther into debt. And debt is slavery, my friends. We talk about corporations owning everything. What do you think is going to happen when the banks, we owe the banks everything we have, plus everything our children have, plus everything that our grandchildren will ever possibly earn? How long is it going to be before Canada has a trillion dollar national debt so homework <laughs> monetary reform look it up uh, talk about your ideas of monetary reform change uh, we got to do something to change this because we've been doing the same thing in Canada since 1974 all of a sudden that debt explosion we got to change some things so yeah homework Look into monetary reform, research debt jubilee, talk to your elected representatives about what their plan is to actually eliminate the debt so that we can become a debt-free nation. Which means we're not indebted to anyone, we are a truly free nation. A nation to start doing what its citizens want to do collaboratively and we could actually start to look at space or research and really provide innovations for the world from Canada, from our, our citizens that are no longer hampered and thrown down with the chains of slavery that taxation and overtaxation is. And we will rise to the occasion where we, again, are free to start exploring space, to start exploring the ocean, to start cleaning up the environment, to start inventing new technology and freeing the technology that's suppressed and resisted. I believe that we can find a cure for cancer. I believe that we can find the cause of cancer and eliminate that. I believe that Canada can get into space. We could build the first space base on the moon. We could take Canada so many places. We could take Canada into the oceans and innovate great new technologies to clean up the ocean. Canada could be a wonderful, powerful, positive force for the world. Instead of being controlled by the banking octopus and having its slimy tentacles control every aspect of our society. This is Josh with We Are Change Victoria. Talk to you again.